Good morning, everybody. The Network Bird here. Welcome back to another episode where we will be discussing GNS3. I've always been hammering in my videos how I want people to go to the blog and to look at the GNS3 section so that you can set it up yourself. Well, I've now decided to make a video course for it as well, which I will post here on YouTube for you to look at for free. And it will show you the step-by-step -step guides, how to install GNS3 and how to use it successfully in your own topologies. So this is just a brief presentation on the introduction of GNS3. So stick around, hope you enjoy it. And again, please remember to subscribe to the channel. It does support me and it does help grow the channel. Okay, so first, what is GNS3? It is a network simulation tool. It allows us to get software images from various vendors and we can import these software images into GNS3. Um, there's various ways how you can go about to do this, but the most uh, successful way is probably through the GNS3 VM, which I will show you how to use as well. Um, but basically you bring these images into the VM, it becomes a icon that you can drag and drop into your GNS3 canvas, into GNS3, which then brings in a network device as if it was a real network device. That is the emphasis here, and that's what's really exciting and cool for me, is you are able to play around in a virtual environment with real equipment. So you can get an actual feel for uh, different network um, theories. You can maybe prototype something new that you might want to bring into your network. It's really interesting, and it helps you see how you can go about uh, bringing in these new changes into your own network and maybe learn uh, because a lot of people also use GNS3 for their studies uh, which is the next point that I want to get through to is what certifications can you pursue well you don't need GNS3 to pursue any of the certs but it will definitely help you obtain the certifications you can look at various big vendors like Juniper, Cisco, Microtech, all of their stuff uh, has software images that you can import into GNS3 so you would be able to lab their equipment and it will help you look in real time how the configuration works on these devices. So maybe you lack an understanding of VLANs on Juniper, then you can create as many VLANs on a Juniper device on GNS3 as you'd like, just to help enforce that knowledge. So that when the test time, time comes, you are prepared and you understand the questions that the testers might ask you in an exam. So it's really useful to have GNS3 or a similar network simulation tool like EVNG perhaps uh, for your certification just to help you prep before the exam comes. What devices can you lab in GNS3? Well, you can, you can lab literally almost anything. Um, you can lab routers. So there's Cisco, Juniper, uh, Microtech, a few others as well that you can lab inside GNS3. How you, you could probably lab anything if you put the effort into importing the image into uh, GNS3. There's also various switches that you can import. The most noticeable ones that I've seen is the extreme switches as well as the Cisco switches. You can use the Cisco viral images with the GNS3 VM um, to give you a good understanding of the switches. So that helps you with your layer two things, you know, so that you can learn about VLANs and how switching works and how you can uh, create ether channels, etc. Uh, it's also very useful for firewall labbing because you can import firewall images into GNS3 as well, like a FortiGate or a Checkpoint or a Cisco ASA or a F5. There's so much potential here. You can bring in all of these devices to lab it and check out um, how the layer four stuff works and how you can create policies to block certain traffic and allow certain traffic. It's really cool. There's also endpoint devices. So you could uh, also bring in actual computers into the network and test it as if it is a real computer, a real user on the network to see what their experience would be when you uh, create your network changes. Not only that, the endpoint devices have a lot of containers. You can also find a network automation container in there, which you can use to automate your network where you basically create like scripts in, in a programming language like Python 3 um, in order to automate your network and use scripts to import configuration or export configuration from remote routers. It's really exciting. That's what you can do 
with the labbing and what devices you can bring into it. It's really exciting. Um, that is the end of the video. I do want to thank you for watching. I do recommend that you go to the blog site. Uh, the written guides are there how to install GNS3. I will post a link in the description. And also, I would like to encourage you again to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching.